Hello, welcome to Mentoring with the Masters. My name is Jennifer Kirkendall. I'm the Third Circuit Representative for the Young Lawyers Division Board of Governors. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Linda Calvert Hansen. She is the Director for the Henry Latimer Center for Professionalism of the Florida Bar. We're going to be speaking about professionalism. Linda, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. What about a new lawyer if they have witnessed or experienced unprofessional conduct directed towards them? What steps can they take? That's a great question. And it's, the Young Lawyers Division um, is an amazing outreach tool for the lawyers and one of the things that we do is we help them provide practicing with professionalism which is a day-long program and so we work with the new lawyers to help give them some practical skills and tools that they can use. I think one of the things is that can be extremely helpful is just as you know your lawyer, your judge before you go into court, know thy judge was one of the cardinal rules that we learned. Know thy lawyer before you go in against opposing counsel regardless of the situation. Ask more seasoned attorneys, others in your office or your agency or within your law firm, um, what the reputation is of a particular lawyer. Um, sometimes it's true that a lawyer that's more seasoned may try to get um, rile up a newer lawyer by calling them young pup or a greenhorn or something like that. Don't buy into it. Don't get sucked into that emotional vortex and, and remain above it and just continue to conduct yourself as a professional. I think that one of the things that can be extremely helpful is to try to pull yourself back a little bit and distance yourself from it and to not buy into the emotional aspect of the situation. Sometimes what's particularly helpful is if you are engaging in um, conduct with opposing counsel and you both realize that you've you know, passed some boundaries that perhaps neither one of you intended to, to pass. And if you can just say, let's, let's take a pause here, let's take a break, let's step back. You know, I don't think either one of us means to be talking this way or, or conducting ourselves in this manner. Let's hit the restart button and start fresh. Sometimes that little alteration can really make a big difference um, and having the courage to do that and to try to alter the um, events as they're happening can be particularly helpful. If the situation has already passed, pick up the phone and say, you know, I really don't think we did either one of our clients a service in the way that we just conducted ourselves. How about we start fresh? Or you know, making that offering, I think, can really be a big benefit to both of you because oftentimes opposing counsel is thinking the same thing, that they just may not have actually taken that step. But I think the main key, short of actually reporting them to the local peer review panel or making a complaint with ACAP, which is the Attorney Consumer Assistance Program with the Florida Bar, is to try to not react and to try to um, not get defensive in the situation and to try to just maintain your composure through the situation. And a good rule would be, wait, if you feel yourself about to send off that email, well, you're hot, you're mad, wait. Do not send it while mad. Um, Linda, thank you. There's been so much information that you've shared with us that's so beneficial to new lawyers. Thank you for joining us here today. You're welcome. <laughs>